All right, so call the meeting to order, seven o'clock. Um, we need to vote to approve ba mailing of the school ballots to all registered voters. Does somebody like to make a yes? May, may, I, may I just, before you make a motion, what I had a conversation with the Secretary of State's office last week, and as you're having this conversation, we want to say not just registered voters, but registered active voters. Because oh. otherwise, if we don't say active, then it includes mailing to the hundred some of that have been challenged, and we okay. don't want to do that. So okay. if you would, when you're ready to make a motion, so say all register active voters. Okay, so Thank I you. would make a motion to approve sending the WCUUSD <laughs> ballots to all active registered voters. I'll second that. Okay, any further discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 And the next one would be the same, right? The Active. next one is the same, correct. Okay, I would make a motion to approve mailing of the town ballots to all registered active voters. For town meeting March 2022. For March meeting 2022, yeah, that's right, 22. Next second. Okay, any discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay, errors of the missions. Um, we've been asked to sign off on a document. Hi, Jeremy. Um, and I, I learned, and I didn't know this, but we signed this document for errors and omissions. Um, and what it does is it gets attached to stuff and put in the vault. It, go, it doesn't go anywhere. Did you bring the form? Yes. Okay, because I thought I had it, but I must have not printed it off. Hmm. Sure. Yep. So, Jan, as a lister, would you want, like to explain for the record what it is this form, what it is this does? Um. When we first, uh, when we issue our first um, grand list, it's usually in June. And then comes uh, grievances. And then somewhere along the line, we hear of other corrections that are needed. And a prime example of this one was, uh, we had data errors in relative to North Callis Memorial Hall. We had that they were taxable. And of course, they got a tax bill <laughs> in August and said, "Whoa, we're not taxable." Yep. And so we had we went in and corrected it. So we buy by uh, I guess it's by law, and I don't know what else it is. Uh, we keep track when everybody makes these uh, questions things. Um, Wilson, help me out. And anyway, we keep track of all the changes that we make, and we have to document them on a piece of paper that goes into the grant list. And all this is doing is asking the select board to just verify that, yeah, there's some corrections and omissions that occurred in the grant <coughs> list and what's going to be going there, and that's what it is. Right. And we had some confusion about, a, about the correct form, so we have the form all up here on the screen that lists the er the errors and omissions that they're asking us to right. sign off on and jeremy has the f the correct form well it's a new form it's a it's that's a, a correct form but it's an old one <laughs> so anyways jeremy has the correct form to um sign i guess wilson went in and signed it today you said right yeah he's on there and jan i haven't signed it yet yeah you could sign it tonight so what we need is a motion to approve the errors and omissions here's a here's a pen jan if you want looks to like you've signed it jan december 10th no this is we're looking at this corrected form done wants the new form. oh okay so move. okay is there a second second all right and then it just needs to get passed around to the select board to sign okay. So there was an error or an omission yeah. on a list of errors and omissions? 
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Why don't we compound it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, and who knows? There may be errors and omissions filed on the errors and omissions on the errors and omissions. And nobody, yeah, it's gonna get and it's gonna get locked into the vault. And nobody's ever and nobody's gonna see it. Nobody's gonna see it. All right, did we vote? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay. What about the town warning? No. Okay. Did you hear it? I heard on BPR tonight the state's going to buy $7 million worth of fiber optic in advance just so they got that ready to go. So that the, Before the price goes up. Well, just because there's everyone wants it. And so you give them a few ahead of time so that each. They call them communication. What do they call them? Telecommunication districts. Oh, the, yeah, the, the so the, the state is then the going to use the ARPA money to fund the allocation of that fiber with different. Thank you, Paul. Thanks, Jim. Thanks, Jim. Thanks, Jim. Thanks, Jim. Thanks, Jim. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Um, so that's cool. That's I like that kind yeah. of proactive thinking. Yeah. Okay, and you wanted to do a group photo, Barbara? Correct. Yeah. Where would you like us? Do you want her to pause this? Yeah, can you, there, we're going to do a group photo. Do you want to just pause that? Are the orders all? Above and beyond Barbara. Okay. Um, Katie dropped off some cookies. Aw, yeah. oh, thank you, Katie. Um, thank you, Katie, wherever you are. Time for cheer and hey, Katie, just get shut off? Is she on there? Katie, you still on? Yeah. Yeah, there she is. We're just I'm here. Thank okay. you for the card and for the cookies. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Enjoy. Thank you. And they're all individually wrapped, so I'll pass them around. All right. Um, we're a little. What? Wow. We're ahead of schedule. So we could do braces on. Very nice. And Alfred's not here yet, but maybe by the time we get done with um, Kent Hill Brick, maybe Alfred will be here. All right, so we are in the final stretch, Grace, of um, the Kent Hill Road culvert project. Yes, I am submitting the application to the state to remote emergency management this Friday, the 17th. Yeah, the deadline is Friday, right? Yes, yep. Okay, so just a recap for us. Um, where we're at, what's next? Yeah, so this, this grant application is to FEMA under their Building Resilient Infrastructure and Communities program called BRIC. Um, and this grant application is for the town to do a culvert scoping study for the Kent Hill Road culvert near the town hall. Um, the budget is about $40,000, $41,000. So the town match is $10,479. Um, is that income? And once. Is that income? Go ahead. Is that income? Yes, it can be income. It can be income, yep. Yeah. Um, once this is submitted to VEM, VEM will review it, let me know if we're missing anything, and then they'll send it to FEMA in January. Hopefully we'll hear back by summer 2022, um, hopefully by August, and then the grant would probably start in September. And CVRPC is budgeted in this grant for project management services, so we would be able to support the town with reporting and all of that really fun FEMA stuff. So CVRPC, what I'm... Grace, how does CVRPC get compensated? We would just be built into the grant. So we would be part of the budget. Okay. So, yeah, so if you look at the... Uh, so basically stepping back, so what I've asked 
for tonight is select board approval to submit the grant application to VEM and to FEMA, and then for Denise to, or for select board approval for Denise to sign the in-kind match or the, the match, local match commitment letter, which I emailed to you, Denise. Yeah, I have it right here. Um, yeah, and that just needs to be submitted as part of the whole application package. Uh, so as long as you get that signed back to me before Thursday night, that's fine. Okay. I'll make that motion to authorize Denise. Second. Well, okay. All those in favor? It's also not just to authorize her to sign it, but we have more importantly that we're approving the thing itself. We are, but yeah, do we yeah. So to sign this document? I mean, this this just authorizing her to sign for us, correct? Right. Well, I think you want to make a motion um, saying that the select board approves applying for um, a FEMA grant for the Ken Hill Road culvert project and, and, and authorizing me to and sign an it. And authorization to sign it. it. To sign it. And authorizing yeah. the needs to mm -hmm. sign on our behalf. Okay, is there a second? Second. Okay. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Hey, Grace, I have a, just a question. I was trying to, I forget, I was talking to somebody today and I was trying to remember when, do you remember what year it was in putting this together that we had that culvert, this culvert blow out? Or John, do you remember? I'm sorry. I know there was that flood in there was one in 84, but there was another one after that that was just this. I want to say 1992, but I think I might be wrong. <coughs> I was just uh, curious. The flood, the flood in Montpelier was 92. Okay, maybe that's. Mm, that's yeah. yeah. I know but I remember I got, a, I got a picture of the culvert blowout that I put in the hazard mitigation plan, so yeah. it's somewhere in there. That was 84, and the Soil Conservation 84. Service brought fill in this whole area below the town hall it was scoured out as was the road yeah. above us and they brought in massive amounts of fill. Yeah, in 84 there was no way to get out and out of town anywhere unless you had a helicopter. Really? Yeah, I talk about I talk about that flood in the application. Yeah. Because I remember because the state made us take a vacation day. Wow. <laughs> 84 is probably out drinking somewhere. Yeah, probably. Okay, I was just looking for a little history. Um, anything else, Katie? I mean, uh, Grace? Um, that we should. I. I don't think so. Let me know. I know Sandra has access to the FEMA portal, and I know it's really hard to like visualize what the application looks like. Um, so. If, you know, let me know if you want to see what the application looks like from the portal and we can like set up a Zoom or something and I can walk you through it. But I also sent you that word copy to try to be a little more reader friendly. Yeah, yeah, no, what you said was good. good. All right, so I will sign this great. Great. Get it to you maybe tonight or tomorrow morning. Sounds good. Thank you all, I appreciate it. Hey, if we don't see you, have a happy holiday. Yeah, have a great holiday. Happy holiday. Yeah, you too. Thank you. Bye. All right, so for some reason we're running ahead of schedule. Oh, there's Alfred, right on cue. More sticks. Yes, it does. Join us. Hey. Howdy. Yeah. We're ahead, of, we're ahead of schedule. Ahead of schedule? Yeah. Wow. And we just hit your agenda item. Yes. Just as you walk through the door. So I was trying to figure out we'd have to sing Christmas carols or something waiting for you. Yeah. And that could be dangerous. <laughs> you might want to practice that. <laughs> <laughs> Season is here. Okay. Um, so we're, you're up. We got our new guys starting mid-January. Mid-January 17th. Yep. Uh, paperwork. He, I met him. Actually, met him today. Uh, in person. In person. Yeah. He's closing on the house the week after he starts with us. So he's uh, he's excited. Good. Very excited. Well, I met his Still, they also, when you met him, you didn't change your mind. No. Nope. Did you decide not to go with the other person? 
separately asked. I, I hear through the grapevine that he has found other employment. He has what? Has found oh. other employment. Oh, okay. Um, so. And you're okay with that? I am absolutely okay with that. Yes. Yeah. Yep. So we still have a position to fill. Yep. Do we want to keep advertising? I think we keep the advertisement going as, as is. Um, okay. But at least the pressure is off at this point. Right. Um, with Dana starting, hopefully end of this week, maybe early next. Okay, I was going to ask when he's going to start. Yeah, I uh, got him drug tested today, so I just got to wait for the results, and he's ready to come aboard. Cool. Uh, as soon as, as soon as that result is by. So when are going to be about? Um, usually, he said the, the tester said three to five days now. Because, because the labs are so backed up, so uh, it could be this, it could be this two days. I mean, but yeah, I'm sort of planning on this week. Just want to mention when people are rattling package things, it's hard for people on Zoom to hear. <laughs> um, um, so, so that'll be good. We're in good shape there. Yes. And then how are the trucks? Trucks not so good. Um, one truck is gone to the shop for a clutch, the mm -hmm. spare, the 2009 spare truck that we are in hopes of selling right away. Mm -hmm. um, but you can't sell it if it's not working and we need it. So I, we're putting a clutch in that. And who's doing that? Um, it's a new company that I've not worked with in the past. They're out of um, Swanton. Hmm. Um, they seem like they actually sent a flyer in the mail. That's how I got, that's how I got connected to them. And I called them and talked to them. They said, yep, they could do it. They've got a, a wrecker. They came down and trucked it. Wow. Um, so the truck was immobile. Immobile. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, I reached up in, up in between the bell house and then you could wiggle the throw up air right back and forth. Oh, wow. I mean, it was bad. So the, wow. But the so it was throw up bearing, bearing failed, the clutch plate was still working, but no way. Well, it without the throw up bearing, the clutch, yeah. you couldn't push the clutch. Right, right, right. 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 Yeah. So I talked with them today. They should have it. It should be going in the shop tomorrow or the next So day. we could just have them change the clutch plate while they're in there, not the oh, clutch plate. Well, yeah. Clutch, pressure plate, yeah. throw up bearing. So it might be save a little money. Take it. Pressure, thing pressure, pressure, pressure be good still. Well, he said that he would inspect it, and if it's cracked, then we have to replace it. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah. he'll turn it. He, he can turn it right yeah. there at the shop. So that's not the $7,000 invoice that's in the orders this time. That was something else. That was something else. Okay. Yes. Yeah, that was on one of the Western Stars. What did what, what, what we get on that? Uh, it was a bunch of small things. Um, it went for an inspection, and there was, uh, again, something wrong with the clutch pedal on that one. Mm -hmm. um, so we had to replace, he called it something, I can't think of the name of it. Was right that now. warranty? was not warranty. Uh, there was a few that things that they did. Right? That one is a 2016. The warranty is still there, but the things that they did was not covered by the warranty. Right. Of course. Yeah. Uh, that's considered a wear part or something? What is that? Uh, it's not dry. You called it a, I want to say module, but it's not that. It's, it's, it's where the clutch pedal pivots, uh, and he said it was worn out. But I'm wondering what it, the, the warranty didn't cover that. I guess it's, it's a wear part, I yeah. assume. I don't know. And then there was some other brake parts. Uh, on that truck that it needed, and oh, shit. I mean, at, at $160 an hour, it adds up, Woo. you know, really? that's, that's what we're paying for these mechanics on these big trucks, yeah. Wow, it's almost like we should get a health insurance policy for them, too. that's what it's doctors. Mm -hmm. Did yeah. you say $100 an hour? 160 160, 160. Yeah. 60 Get a raise your rate, Sharon. So, you know, um, it went in for a checkup for an inspection and a couple other small things. And when they did the inspection, they found other things like the brakes and things that added up to. So, and I 
did, I asked him, I said, well, why, why doesn't this warranty cover some of this stuff? And he said, well, and he, I made him double check. And he said, yeah, no, that's not covered, that's not covered. I went right down the bill and uh, he said, it's just, this stuff's not covered. That's how those warranties work. That's right. Same thing on right. car warranty. No different, no different than that. Yeah. 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 Yep. Uh, so that truck is up and running, it's back. Uh, the CD is another problem. The what? The, the CD International, which is the little truck that I drive around oh. and do the salt with. Mm -hmm. the, right. Um, that one is waiting for uh, coolant lines. They rot it out. Brake what? lines. Yes, sir. Three years old. I am livid. But what are you going to do? Again, I asked them. I, I, I hounded on them about the warranty. Three years so this is three years old. Why is it rotted out? Yeah. And and you guys wash vehicles? We wash them. I mean, again, three years. It's been, that's yeah. yeah that's that's crazy. crazy. And yeah. they're not covering that. And what they're what brand covered. is this? It's an international. Just the part of the brake system. Yeah. So there's two brake line, line, two brake lines oh, yeah. rotted out. So we got the part, put those in, got it working, and then yeah. there was there was two. Uh, coolant lines, transmission coolant lines that brought it out, and that I figured would be warranty, so I sent it down there. Also, it needed to be inspected, so I figured take it, they'll they'll fix what they need, and that so they can't find those coolant lines anywhere in the country. And they can't make them up. I asked them. I've been asking them about can we just get get some fabricated somewhere, yeah. take the two right. ends and get some pipe yeah. made into it. And they're saying no, it's the ends that have failed, and there are special <coughs> that screws into the transmission. Of course they are. Time to get rid of that truck. This is I agree. I, I, I just get rid of it. I'm don't serious. Like, don't like that truck. I never have liked that truck. Did we buy that new or used? Yes, brand new. Just mm -hmm. bought it. I can't believe it's three years. Yeah. This is a pickup. That's the black. This is a the one ton. Fancy pickup. It's, 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 a, it's a dump truck, but it's a. Uh, it's a one ton. A one ton. Yeah. 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 We bought yeah, it because it's supposed to be better than the Fords, because the Fords, the frames are cracking on when you put a whole plow. And that's on. the one you use to salt the county road and by yes. the school mm -hmm. and. Yes. Yes. So let's get rid of that. I've been struggling some because that puts us with two trucks broken. Only puts gives me three trucks. Right. So one truck is doing two routes, and it's been a challenge. But I gotta say, you guys have uh, been right out there sanding and stuff. Yeah. I yeah. Um, and cutting so, up trees, I noticed on the uh, yeah. Marshfield yeah. Road. Yeah. 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 From that yeah. wind the other day. Yeah. yeah. The wind was pretty severe. Yeah. A bunch of them. I cut a couple more out today, actually. So. Have you used the chipper? I'm not. I'm hoping to tomorrow. The weather's supposed to be good and uh, the roads are in decent shape, so I think we can break it out tomorrow. Make sure you wash that down if you're on 14 and the county road. Mm -hmm. Done. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so now you got two, enough people but not enough trucks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's always yeah. a challenge, isn't it? Seems like I can't win. Yeah. Yep. You um, said that was an international purpose. It's a CV International. CV is the model, International is the make. Wow. Um, so. Well, that's too bad. Any yeah. any other update? <laughs> that was a very big truck. Any more bad news? I was going to say, any more bad news? No, anything other than that is, is going along fine. Okay. I did get uh, some prices for a grader that Rick asked me for, and I can yeah. pass that around. Not pass it around, <clears> but I can send it. Uh, yeah. And that's that's a big number. Is it like four hundred or something? That's three fifty actually. And that's a brand new one. Brand new, yeah. And that's with the wing that we normally get in the Scarfire, same as. I sort of set it up the same as our cap grader. Mm -hmm. uh, Cheaper than a fire truck. Yeah, we're beyond, because we're beyond that 20 year service life, are we 20, 24 years on the back, something yes. like that? And we yeah. brought that unit here, you know how it's been treated. Are you asking for that to be on this coming March one, Or is this um, the next one? No, I don't think it's for this March. 
Okay. We do need to talk about the truck though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For this March. 17, this, right? What is it 2017? Or? It's the 16th. No, oh, 16. Then, uh, then. That's going to go out of warranty next year. Not the warranties helped, right? Apparently, no, no, the, right. Well, except for the warranty is good for a motor issue, transmission issue, yeah. anything driveline related would be the warranty. Would and are you so looking at an international again? No, no, I don't want anything more to do with internationals. Mm -hmm. It will be a Western Star. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And so Toby and I have been working on prices for for a, a new truck. Um, the problem is it's takes so long to get a truck now. Yep, it's gonna be it's gonna be up the whole year. Right. And all right, and that and that warranty expires in October of twenty two, right? So right. right. So the thought is is to order it now and, and then it'll be here by next next fall. Mm -hmm. Order it. Yeah. yeah. Like this coming year or after March. As soon as possible, right? You mean yes. before town mm meeting? -hmm. before town meeting. Uh, and we would Take out a loan for that? Yeah, how do we do it before? It's not. We, we, well, you wouldn't purchase. You wouldn't pay for it until mm -hmm. it comes in. But what if what if you do that and something happens and it doesn't get approved? And you just cancel it? Do they? Do we have to give them a deposit that we don't get back? Mm -hmm. I think they would just do a personal sales agreement, the same as we did with the used Western Star that we're buying. Um, but I just wonder if they want a deposit that we wouldn't get back if we cancel. Right. They don't generally ask for a deposit. I mean, we didn't give them a deposit for that Western Star. It's just something while we're working on budget, that's something we should we should. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the, so and the sooner we can do that, the better because of the warranty issue. Right. The, the question is on that, too. Could we, would we be able to come up with some kind of a sales agreement on that truck? Because I assume we would get rid of that truck, right? And so, yes, or would we? It would be a trade. And so, and the salesman didn't want to give us a price sight unseen, but he said it should be around forty thousand for that truck, which is good money. Yeah. Um, but I think that's what's going to keep us ahead. Is if we get rid of them sooner, they're yeah. holding their value, and yeah, and the warranty you know, get more money yeah. out. Mm -hmm. um, and then that other truck that we're buying used, we're going to. Is that supposed to be here this month or next month? That's another whole story. Mm -hmm. uh, the, so the town that we're buying the truck that used to have this truck is waiting on their new truck. Right, they right. Can't get yeah, faced in. Yeah. Faced in. Faced so in. town faced in is having Tenco in New England put the truck together, put the body on, plows all on. Well, Tenco just it's moved right. to New Hampshire. Right. So. They gave, they gave Faceton the option to go either to New Hampshire or to go to Canada to have this truck put together. They opted to go to Canada. Just to make it more difficult? Well, no, 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 because I think they, they, Canada does a better job putting the trucks together. So I hear, I don't know. Hmm. Um, we've not bought trucks from Tento or equipment from Tento, so I don't know what they're quality is. Mm -hmm. uh, but anyway, it was it's faced in its choice, so they decided to go to Canada. So, and so it's going to take longer. Right. And Faith, the guy from Faceton, the, the mm -hmm. foreman there, is livid. I mean, he wants his truck. He's mm -hmm. supposed to have had it before now. And then he should have yeah. gone to New Hampshire. Well, this just happened. I mean, yeah. Temco just closed their doors two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. Well, he should have gone to New Hampshire still. I don't understand Well, that. I don't know if New Hampshire would be any faster. Oh, 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 okay. I think Canada is is a bigger, better shop. Oh, I see. So they be just as quick, quick, quick. So they you, might be. Do you have quicker. any estimate? An estimated right. time? Mm -hmm. No, I don't. I you, don't. Do you think we should? I know that the truck you run around with is smaller, and for a number of reasons, do you think the one that we're looking to trade, we should keep that and dump the one you got internationally? You got this rusting out already. Um. And then along with that, well, that's the bigger a, truck. That's a gamble. I mean, I really, even though I hate that truck, I sort of miss it because it goes without chains. So doing the salt four wheel drive, I can go up and down the blacktop yeah. faster. And mm -hmm. so without that, I would it would take, I a, long, see. 
take my yeah. car. And that's, yeah. what, that's what the problem is right now, because right. I'm using the six-wheeler right now to do right. the saw, and it has to have chains. Probably more expensive so, to fix, too, when you're coming down to maintenance. So. Right. right. Yeah. So that six-wheeler will spin without chains? Oh, yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. I wouldn't go out of the yard with it. Amazing, that. really. I figured dual axle wouldn't. Yeah. No, I wouldn't. I, we won't go out of the yard with it without chains. Wow. Um, so with all of that, and the lack of trucks, I've contacted mm. Charlie Boys to see what they have for options. Do you have a used truck? Do you have something that you would rent? Do you mm. what? So he, I couldn't get a hold of him today. He was out of the office. But Friday, he left me a message saying, yes, I have options for you. So I'm thinking of renting, trying one out, whatever, just yeah, to have a truck. Nice to let you try it. Yeah. And, this would be, and this would be to just to fill a void until until and, and, oh, a to spare. fill a void until you get the truck that you use for salting fixed, or get this other e either one. Oh, well, I just need a truck. I'm I'm yeah desperately in need of one truck to fill all of the four routes. And he says he's got a six wheeler down there. I didn't really get into options because he don't normally rent them. So he had to contact his boss to see if it was a. A uh, possibility, mm -hmm. and that's when he called me back and said, Yes, it's a possibility, but I've oh. already gone home for the day of Friday. Um, so, and our insurance would cover it, we would, yeah, we'd have to just add it uh, temporarily, add a rider, as a, add a rider to it, so we would be covered, yeah. Um, and then we would just put it in the fleet and use it and as long as we need until we get one of the other ones back. Mm -hmm. Figures, right? But I mean, I'm running ragged with with three trucks. Yeah, and one of them's uh, the spare, the old spare. And one of them, well, no, the spare is one that went down. Mm -hmm. The one that's at least the clutch. Right, right. Uh, but at least when it comes back, it will be fixed so that we can sell it. Yes, yes. And then he told me he gave, and that's sort of why I jumped on it right away. Is he quoted me around twenty five hundred dollars, which to me. Change the clutch on that? That's, that's great. Clutch. That's pretty good. That's yeah. really cheap, in my opinion. Wow. I mean, there's yeah. a lot of work to pull that yeah. you know, yeah. 1,500 pound transmission wow. away from the motor. and Plus the tow is $10,000. Yeah. Uh, no, <laughs> so actually, again, he treats me super right. He said, if this, if it's coming here for me to do the work, I'll, I'll pull it for 400 bucks. Wow. And that's you won't get a record for yeah. wow. 600 bucks. Yeah. Yeah. 800 yeah. Great yeah. Yeah. So, and this is Charlie Boys. For sale? This is Charlie Boys. Uh, yeah, uh, I asked him if they did any renting, and today I asked them just to because see. Because the Swanton they, guy. They don't. This is the Swanton guy you're talking about. Yes, the new company in Swanton, right? right. Mm -hmm. And it's, which I'm dying to go to their facility and check it out. Yeah, yeah. sure. Good no question. To see, because there's it's getting to where it's hard to find anybody to work on these big trucks. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're limited to what. I mean, you got the dealers. That's it, and mm -hmm. they're booked and they're expensive. Expensive, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. yeah. So I figured I would give him a try, and if he, you know, it's, it's it's a long ways to Swanton, mm -hmm. but it's a long ways to Burlington too. Right. But, you yeah. know, I really wish that we had a place somewhere closer Lo here. Yeah, it's too. local. Um, but there just isn't. Right. Okay. So um, that's my truck saga for right now. Oh. Uh, trying to work to it, but we'll get there. Yeah. Well, nice job. Yeah. Yeah. Handling all that, juggling all the, all the trucks. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for working out the numbers on the grader too, because we got that's good. Then. Yeah. So, so we'll get, get that on our year. Mm -hmm. So you guys are working on budget, right? Yeah. yeah I think, uh, you guys are either getting on the budget, right? Right. right. Toby and I met um, to work on the budget, <clears throat> and then I believe he sent it around our. No. 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 Send it, send it to Rick. No, he said that he was, he was supposed to send it to Rick. Okay. Well, I think he did. When did I didn't see it in my email. Uh, it would have been last week. Oh, the seventh. Then I do have that. That was. I'm sorry. I thought you sent that to them. I thought that went to everybody. My mistake. No, I think it was. It was what Toby and I had put together. And, uh, Does it include the things you're talking about? Uh, no, well, no. The greater. 
would be in the capital budget. I think it's in the capital, capital plan. plan. Yeah, that's usually where that, that would be. Yeah, yeah. And everything else is just repairs so far. And right, so we're going to rely on items that we can do right here. Yeah, and well, that, that, yeah. And, right, so having that capital plan, we have a capital budget, but I think we've talked about before, we, we have a budget more than an actual plan, right? I think it's the same thing, isn't it? No, it's no, not the no, same. The, cap the capital plan is kind of a replacement. I mean, right, you but usually, usually that budget. has, but that usually has the figures in it. Right. That's what right. I'm getting at. But as as things age out under the capital plan, it's it that allows us to be focused a little more macro. And as long as there's a budget for an item that is specifically scheduled for replacement, and you're meeting the you know imagined estimated budget for the item, mm -hmm. it's just sort of business as usual in my mind instead of you're not going to blow out the internet are you instead of a big okay. you know it's not it's not a discussion item i mean the, the, the important discussion items are when we're blowing through a budget for some reason my two cents um how are you guys coming on the winter roads contingency plan all that stuff i didn't do anything this week we could busy in truck land for you know what i found i was po i was poking around um, something on the internet, and I came across this agency of transportation site, and it talks about, and they have a whole, I didn't print it, but if you're interested in seeing it, I can send you the link. It's the state's um, operations plan, contingency, all that stuff. It's like 10 pages or something like that. But you might look at that when you're working on one for us, and then there's also these other two documents. Safe winter driving in Vermont, snow and ice control FAQ. Um, that I thought was interesting. So anyway, that's just, I don't know if you want these to look at. Yeah, or I can get it off the, if you send me the link, I can put it. Well, you have these archives, I'll send you the link to the, Okay. Um, Longer document, like I said, I didn't print that off. So the idea is this would take the form rate of an amendment to the winter operations plan. No. Yeah, that's what we're we're looking for, looking at our winter operations plan to see if we need to change anything. And I think the last time we looked at this was 2017. It didn't make any. We reapproved it, so we might have made a change or two. And then there's the contingency plan that Alfred had come to us with some ideas. And then you guys were going to take and put it into some sort of a document, correct? Mm -hmm. For the board to review. Yeah. Well, okay. I, it, it is, it's in a document. I sent the document, but then you wanted me to incorporate the winter maintenance plan into it. Into it. We just haven't gotten or, or vice versa. Yeah, or vice versa. So you guys or are still versa. working on this, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's defer it then. Well, we're going to be in January. Right. I mean, we've been deferring this now for since September, November, October. I mean, we started it so really early. And I, I know you've been busy with hiring and trucks. Yeah, well, I guess I, I need to know what you want. I what? guess we want a written document that's a contingency plan for instances like you're having right now what do, what do i do i don't have enough trucks what do i do i don't have enough drivers and you just prove tonight what you can do is you can call and see if there's a truck to rent i think right but so that kinda, it, it, that's sort of my job i'm just right. going to do that automatic I, I, I thought it was also what roads not to plow if we get to the point where we cannot plow them. <laughs> Right. Or in what order, if we had right. a triage. I gave a list. Right. I gave a list of right. roads. just talking about. Right. I don't know that we ever got the list in, like, a document. Did you send it as a document? Well, it was an original remember. document that was a half a page that Alfred brought to us. But that was the stimulation for a conversation where we're thinking <laughs> about if, if, you're, if you're down one person, if you're, if, 
if you're down one person, if you're down two people, if you if somebody is suddenly sick and having and not being not not having to shoot from the hip, <coughs> or have it have a very very orderly plan for how you handle that from your perspective, but but then the 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 downstream of that is the ability to recognize at a, at a town level, okay, we're in, you know, we're in plan A, folks. You know, full staffing, all the trucks are running, and this is what that looks like even, which we haven't really ever published to the town. And then if we're in contingency plan B, or contingency plan, which is, you know, plan number one, because there's one guy missing, this is what that looks like. And then, and everybody, everybody knows. It means that Tucker Road isn't going to get plowed until whenever. And you know, so that all of the implications are understood by everybody in advance. And, and for you, it's just, okay, guy down, what do I do? <coughs> right, and you know that without thinking, but the, I guess the idea, and I, I don't know if it would be a separate document, or be an appendix to the operations plan. I could see that happening. That this is what we do under normal circumstances. Everybody jumps in a truck and plows. And maybe yeah, this, and maybe well, the- It's very difficult to determine. I mean, I, I make a decision on the fly every second of the day. Mm -hmm. And I just do it to be the most efficient and get the rails done as quick as possible. It, it sounds like the document Denise has that's a 10-pager from the state might illuminate the depth that we're thinking about, which you probably have in your head, and you might recognize a parallel line of thinking that I, could be applied to talents. I thought that we had agreed that you and Rick... Yeah, yes, we, we did. I right. think you're yeah, I just have not been able to coordinate. Yeah, I know, you haven't been able to, and the budget yeah. is first. Right. right, we got to get the budget but, done first. But as soon as the budget is done, I think you're 90% there. I think you just take that list and the two of you throw together some text to go Do with that it. list yeah. and stick it at the end of this and bring it back to us. And that's what I offered to sit and type for you. But I mean, I think if Rick, yeah. if you can work with him with his list, we're there. We'll do. We've been we've talked on the phones and he's been yeah. putting pieces together yeah. for this. We just said it's been me. I know. I, we haven't had the time. Yeah, well, I can't get out during the day. I'm right now a lot. Yeah. I'm in a very busy time, so it's just you know when he's available, I'm not. You know, so that I have to fit into my work schedule too. Yeah. So the other the other thing that I the sort of <clears throat> problem that I have with this is saying no, we're not going to plow your road. I mean, we we just can't do that. No, it's not. No, we won't plow it, but it's going to be pushed. It's no, not going to be plowed later in the day. It's going to be later in the day. Longer regular time, you know, in certain areas. You know, essentially that has to go. And then, remember, this is only an emergency contingency. In fact, so, you know what? Look, it's not regular plow. I, item 15 of the okay. current policy says, at the discretion of the road commissioner and for the safety of the road crew, right. who may have worked long hours. Some low travel roads may wait until the day after a snow event right. for final plowing and cleanup. So can't we just put no, a list? No, so you could just add 16 in the event that mm -hmm. there is a shortage of personnel or trucks are broken or whatever. These roads, the, the, the areas that may not be plowed would include but this, not be limited sure, to the following. I, I was thinking sure, you know, they may not be plowed. You have an order of priority. You have yeah. first priority roads and mm -hmm. you explain what those are, i.e. bus routes. Your emergency. And then you have second and you have third. And they all get plowed, so you're not talking <coughs> the negative. You're just talking the order. Mm -hmm. And we can't do it all at once. We have to do it according to priority. And this is the priority scheme. So when people look out the window and it's 8.30 in the morning and their road's not plowed, you know, they look on the front porch form or they use their better judgment and understand that, well, there's something's up and maybe they have it on their refrigerator or maybe they just have it in their mind's eye and they, they say, oh, must be something going on. And I know that I'm the lower, I'm the second priority road, so maybe it's going to happen sooner. 
Well, and I think we can just add something yeah. to this, a number yeah. 16. Yeah, yeah. Just or, or an appendix, however <laughs> you want to do it. Do we don't have to reinvent the wheel. Right, but I, I think... But I think right. doing... Rick, I think we have a committee, Rick and he, and... We'll do this yeah. together. We, yeah, yeah. This is, to me, that's a good show. To me, it's easy. You just make three columns. One, first priority, second priority, third, third priority. priority. When everything's going smoothly, they all get plowed almost in unison, right? You know, in a timely manner. But if we have to, and you have at the bottom, in the event we have an emergency where we're down personnel or a truck or some other event that precludes us from doing everything in a timely manner, this is the order of priority. You just leave it at that. It's that simple. It doesn't have to be this elaborate thing. No, no I don't think it's a list it, of three columns. Right. First, second, third priority. Boom. And I don't think we're looking to you list can put every. Put me on the third priority. We don't. I don't think. We, I don't think we're looking to list every single road. I think there should be something where anybody anywhere has a, has an understanding of what we're talking about when we say. When we say we're short one staff person or short two staff people, when we first started this conversation, it was around the fact that it would that it would it was around the fact that we 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 weren't sure we would we would have a full crew, and recognizing that at any day or any time there you could be short a crew person because of sick or because of trying to hire and trying to balance people's expectations with the safety of the road crew does mean getting clear that we are not scrambling to get every road plowed by 8 a.m. in certain circumstances. And just getting really clear about that. And that's, that is our job to own that message as a select board, but we need the information to support what the message is so that we can create expectations for the town. Yeah, we can say to somebody who calls and is upset because their road isn't plowed, well, here's, right. look at the winter operations plan, um, and this will help you understand it. Well, and, and, you, and you need us to, accept, you need us to endorse it, because that's, that's what makes our ownership not yours. Yeah, we is. own it, we own the decision, and not in a onesie twosie as it comes up, but as a matter of policy, this is what we're doing, and we endorse it, and you say, look, I got a three-person crew, and I'm working them 12 hours a day, and that is the limit, because that's the other piece we should be looking at, is what are the hours that it takes to do that? That, to me, is not just the roads, but what are the hours? Because there is a, there's a point at which it is not okay to still have people on the road, and that is a priority. That's right. Yeah, and I think we're, and us owning, this will help you when you have people calling will help mm -hmm. us when we get calls mm -hmm. and we're all on the same page we're all sending this sending and saying the same message mm -hmm. so we approve the plan and then you just implement it and so we don't even have to know about it and we get a phone call we're like oh it must be yeah we might know about it the contingency you might yeah. send us an email that says plan a in place yeah, now. Exactly. We're like, okay, got it. I think it's really important both for the, the reader public, our people, and for Alfred to keep it simple, stupid, man. Yeah. I, I really don't think this, I, like I said, you know, if I were you, Alfred, I'd come here with, you have all your roads, break it into three lists, you know which ones are which. Yeah, yeah I mean, I think and this. Then, and then we can put some, a page out, and we have stuff, some quick notes on the bottom of that, the lists above our, our priority scheme in case of emergency. Boom. See the attached page or see the. Yeah, that's I think it. We want to keep it as simple nothing, as possible. Nothing complicated. It should take you an hour and then we bless it. And if we need to make changes to it down the road, we can do that. Right. But let's just get something on paper, something simple. It doesn't have to be beautiful. Okay. And our butts are covered. So, when do you need to order this new truck? So that, like, uh, tomorrow? Well, they said if we ordered it in December be here, the cabin chassis would be here in July. So, you, and they'll fit it up by plow season? That's usually two months for, yeah. for So, you're going to order it up? Give me the green light, yeah. That's what we're doing, right? Right, is that a motion? Yeah. 
Okay, you want to state the motion again, not I, to exceed? I, I move that we authorize the road commissioner to order a new truck to replace the 2016 truck, 2016. Um, which has come due, and uh, negotiate a trade on that, and at the same time, order up a new truck fitted up as necessary to plow on sand, and it's going to be a six-wheeler again. Right, and a Western Star, we hope. It's going to be Western Star. The, the, whether it's six or ten is debatable. Okay. Um, what do you I meant ten wheeler. I'm sorry. Ten wheeler, right. Well, it's, we're replacing a six wheeler. Yeah. But when you look at the numbers, it just doesn't make sense yeah. to buy another six wheeler. Ten wheeler, yeah. You know, I meant ten. Because yeah. you pay the same amount of money for the yeah. equipment, and you're just paying a little bit more money for that. Right. It's a second accident, and you're carrying twice the weight. Second, items. I want to have an amount not. To, you want an amount not to exceed. What are you looking at? 180. Is that not the number? Uh, right? Well, I'm still waiting on numbers. I had no idea you would be ready to vote on this tonight, but uh, I'm still waiting on numbers for the for the part for the body and the plows and stuff. But you probably have a rough idea. You've done this before. Yeah. No, no, no. I would it's say closer to two. It's over two hundred. Yeah. Two hundred or two twenty-five or two ten. I think. Let's do two ten. Not. To, I mean, I'm sure I can get it. Well, it's not two C, so let's make it two twenty, and then not ten thousand. It's got isn't the issue. It's at two hundred thousand. That's the issue. So. And I know. So my motion know. is to not to exceed two hundred twenty. Okay. Next month, we'll to fit it up and decide. All right. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay. You got it. Very good. Green light. Very we good. understand the issues. I'd also issues. like to request, it's not a motion, that Alfred get rid of, start looking at getting rid of the other truck that he's driving. I mean, that, no. that's a really bad sign. That is. Well, I can, yeah, I can look okay. into something that's compatible in size and see what I can do. I mean, if you, even if you found a truck that's equivalent in age, but a different brand, brand mm -hmm. that isn't rotting, isn't rotting like this, and we just right. trade one to get the other, just get rid of it while it's young. Yeah. Okay. Shopping time. Yeah. I'll get we, to work on it. I don't think old trucks. I see a a horse. What's that? Old man. trucks don't work. That's right. They don't. We pay. truck that got old. I mean, that's right. Granted, that's not a very old truck. No, I know. That's just, that's just, that. just like it's you exactly said, like John true. said, it's a bad sign that, that things are already rotting out. <clears throat> brake lines, that's too soon for a brake line oh, yeah. to rot out. And no, it's, that's it's, a defective truck. That's a different issue. Yeah. yeah. Have you talked to other towns? Do they have this uh, kind of same truck? I don't know anybody else that has that brand. It was, it was a brand new model that, yeah. that year that we bought it. Yep. Um, Okay. And less not, a good, not a good sign. You just don't buy a, a you know, right. the first to buy a truck that's that's brand new on the market. Okay, so do you have anything else for us? Um, don't think so. Okay. Don't think so. All right. I guess. Thanks I a lot. guess we're done. Thank okay. you. Okay. You've got a lot of the trucks. Thank you. That's yeah. Insane. Yeah. I'll get to work. If you have any time this week. Or they all bring the bags. Uh, yeah, day. I can fit. Just call me. Okay, you know, try to work. Just get out. Try to get some hours, a few hours off of work or something one day. Yeah. Wednesday I mean, even if it's a phone conversation, we probably cover a lot. Oh, of we can. Why do we get? I should type this as we go. I can. Is that the issue that you guys are struggling to find time during the yeah, day? Yeah, it's been my schedule. It's been. Yeah, you're right. Brutal. You're in budget season at the city hall. So Alfred, Alfred, Alfred can be flexible. Uh, Maybe Wednesday or something. Let's, let's touch base tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Great. We got to get this done. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. You're good. Okay. Great. Right. Thanks, Jeff, for tonight. Thank you. Um, I thought maybe David Sheets or Larry Bush or Tobin Anderson um, might pop in. The next item is the HPC is looking to submit um, the paperwork for a grant for another CLG grant and it is for walking tours of Callis 
and it would include students from the school. Right. It sounds like a really different, interesting project. And there's no skin off our back. For right, this. right. There's no nothing. cost to the town. Looked like about a $7,500 grant. Right, like right. Well, there's no cost to us. It's all in kind match. Um, what does the $7,500 pay for? Oh, it's the it printing, the design, the printing, the study, uh, the studies. Where, you know, the maps to hand out when it's all complete. So it'll be something, it sounds like a really interesting project to show all the walking places in Calus. And it's for school kids too. Right. I thought it was great. Yeah, I did too. Yep. I'll move approval. Okay, is there a second? Second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay. Okay, next up. Um, it's been requested that we add the names of the Lakes and Stream Committee members to the town website. The reason I put this on the agenda, and it wouldn't just be an automatic thing, is because they're not appointed by the Select Board or the Conservation Commission. They're sort of an ad hoc group that meets. If we, and so part two of my question is, if, if they're not a committee appointed by the Select Board, they don't have to do minutes, agendas, follow open meeting and stuff. Um, but normally when people look at the website, they see a board or commission or committee, and it's somebody that is an, an authorized and approved town committee. David, we're all done, it's all set. Bye. Oh, it's all done. okay. It's all good. Thank you. You're welcome, bye. You can stay. Thank you. You can stay, but we're, we're, you're all set. Sounds great, thank you. All right, thanks for tuning in. So it suggests that it's got more town imprimatur than it has. And that, right, and, I, and that was my concern, is it's nothing that we have any control over as far as meetings. Um, we they're, they're not appointed. But we, what, so the link is that we have historically, or I don't remember if we have recently, but we have historically funded the production of a mailing or something? We, did, we, got, we stopped that. So we haven't even Several that. years ago, and that's another thing I think they That were, was through the conservation. Right. Okay. They used to come, they used to be on the warning for town meeting, $2,000 for lakes and streams to publish the annual, yeah. or biannual newsletter, and we stopped doing that because we said, you, you know, a lot of them end up in the recycle bin or in the trash. There's still people that really feel strongly that it should still be mailed. So that might come up again. I don't know. Do they? But do they have their own website. No, that and that's kind of the issue is that they want a place to pick you back to the town's website. Right. So, so my dilemma, and as I said, they're not appointed by us. And if they're on the town website, will people think that they are? Well, that could be clarified. I mean, we could say this disclaimer. Around a volunteer commission, not appointed volunteer <coughs> commission. Yep. Not subject to over meeting. Right. Well, that's what I want to get the board to decide. I would go. I would go. No. I would say let's draw a clear line and instead have a, a like a some towns have what's called a resources tab, and it's a bunch of links to outside the town stuff. And so it would be a really simple project for somebody to build a one-page landing site for the Lakes and Streams Committee that they, you know, if, oh, not in my skill set, but it's my understanding it's not hard to do a one-page landing site for, with, you know, very basic information, including the members that they maintain, and we could put a, a link under a tab that's something like resources where we say, what Mark just said, these groups are you know, may do work in support of various initiatives in town, but they are not town groups, and therefore, blah blah blah. I and think then, what, and then we're not, we're not um, incorporating them, and we're not setting ourselves up for having this conversation every three or four months with other groups. Yeah. See, I guess I don't have a problem with putting their names. It, it, all they want is their names, and maybe some contact info. Um, and I don't have a problem, I guess, thinking about doing that, 
Oh, was it the, was it this, you know, Cows Volunteers. Let's not call them a committee. Let's see. Cows Volunteers or Lake and Streams Volunteers or, you know, whatever. Yeah, that, littering Vol. Green Up Committee Vol. Green Up yeah, Volunteers. Let's not call them a committee. Let's just. So, what I was going to say is, I wouldn't have any problem putting their names on there saying that this is the Lakes and Streams group, listing them Volunteer names group. and saying that, you know, the disclaimer is they're not appointed by the select board. Well, period. is there other, going with what Sharon was saying, are there other groups like that? Well, John has yeah. mentioned Green Up. No, Green Up is on there because the Green Up coordinator. Yeah, but they're not an appointed committee. They're similar it's usually like one in effect as, as to what you're suggesting to me. They're not, they don't have minutes, they don't have right. meetings. They're a volunteer group. What is, I, what know, is, it's no different than the, the, the Boy Scouts and the Girl Scouts want to be on it. We can do that too and have the contact yeah. with the true leaders. You know, that's not a big deal. Is not town affiliate. Other volunteer, some, a page or something, other volunteer efforts, colon, mm -hmm. you know, paren, these are not, these are not appointed volunteer efforts, not subject to open meeting laws, et cetera. Yeah. And then just list, you know, Dreams Commission, et cetera. And then if there's anything else you want to add, add it. Okay. Does that work? Yep. Well, that again, works. if it becomes a, a onerous for our website team to keep up, that's something else to be for us to just we can, Yeah, we can cross that bridge if we get there. there. Yeah. I mean, right okay. now, I think as long as you make it clear. But I would say if there's a green up coordinator, is there? Yeah, and they're listed. Uh, they are listed on. Uh, there's a swim committee group. Is Green Up on that there's list? Green Up. There's the Boy yeah. Scouts, and the Girl Scouts, and good. Okay, so all you know, okay. there's the people who do plantings out here and community gardens. There's all sorts of stuff. Right. Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. that okay. international truck that's rusting out is a 2019. Jesus Christ! Yeah, what a sin. Yeah, it is. It's so it's expensive. Planned obsolescence. Okay. Thank you. All right. Um, town hall cleaning. We talked. I think we talked last meeting. Yeah. Now that this mm -hmm. is getting used more often, um, we're talking downstairs. Just downstairs yeah. right now, because when that gets opened up to be used, right. the friends group will be yeah, responsible right. for the cleaning upstairs. So Jeremy's found somebody. Her name is Amber. Right. Something or other. Sorry. 802 cleaning yeah. or something. Yeah. She, out of East Montpelier. Yeah. She's no, there. she's out. She lives on Georgia. Oh, okay. okay, yeah, she had a plain field mailing address, but that would explain it, George. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <coughs> we all have in plain field in that part of town. Yeah. So, anyways, I just wanted to let you know that we found somebody. She's available to clean a couple times a month. Um, right. She's going to come and give an estimate of how long she thinks it will she take. Came, she came and gave an estimate. She came, um, she hasn't given the estimate yet, but I did be here here. This morning. Oh, good. Thank you. And she walked around, and I said, "Come up with what you think, and please email Denise, and that's where it's at." Right okay. Now. Yeah, and the things she wants, we wanted, you know, like the bathrooms clean, stuff like the countertops dusted, the floors swept or vacuumed or whatever it takes. And then we used to have a problem with tons and tons of dead flies that we need to get vacuumed up, but shouldn't be anymore. Yeah, my yeah. 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 Yes, that too. What's that? Last year, remember we used to have mice? Not anymore. Before the Before renovation. Before the renovation. Mice running around during the Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Next up. Um, staff bonuses. Usually this time of year, we give um, the road crew and the town office staff a bonus. Um, when do we budget? I don't remember what we budgeted. I don't know that I don't know that we've ever made it a separate line item in the budget, but I think I'm remembering it. It's been like two fifty. That sounds right. Yeah, two fifty. So moved. Um, and I'd also like to make sure that <clears throat> we think about Barbara, who's um, part time, and Katie, um, in offering these bonuses. Do you want to? So moved. I would be in favor of giving everybody the same amount. Well, so but it's not, so, okay, but it doesn't, it, I'm not remembering, does Katie take minutes for the DRB now too, or is that somebody different? No, she doesn't. 
She so does our computer website. She does our website, all that stuff. Right. So are there other conservation? People, are there other people not as likely conservation to be on Can our you? radar who are also? You should, you should, you should, you should get the bonus. Yes. I'm, I'm thinking the road crew, including the. Right now, it would just be Alfred, Bruce, Tyler, and Ed. And the office staff would be Jeremy, Barbara, Sandra, Katie, and I don't know who else is there. Did I miss anybody, Jeremy? Well, isn't there somebody Sandra. we paid? Huh? Office staff, did you say Sandra? Yep. Yeah. The DRB doesn't have somebody, or is it that the DRB doesn't meet enough to make They haven't met hardly at all. Okay. I'm, that's, I'm, I, I think Katie's just, Katie chimed out, I think she said Conservation Commission. Yes, yeah, Katie does Conservation Commission minutes. Yeah. Katie, are you aware of somebody else like you that we're not thinking of? I don't think there is someone else. Okay, that's, that's my concern. There's no one like you, Katie. I know, there's nobody just make like that you. Clear, well, right? <laughs> Katie, you didn't take any offense to it. You know what I mean, like, like you're on our radar, but is there somebody who's not on our radar that we're leaving out? That's yeah, I can't, the, the, the DRB used to have somebody. Right, that's, that's what you're thinking. Yeah. yeah. So you're not, yeah, you're on the right track. There used to be somebody, but they haven't met, and they've been doing their own minutes, so. Okay, all right, that's what I'm um, thinking of. All right, so there's John made a motion, I'll second it. Um, 250 for all of the staff members as noted. Thank Did you. you get all that, Sandra? Mm -hmm. Sandra? Oh, well, I want to make. I I am well. I am here, and I got that. Okay, great. Thank you. Um, the other quick thing is. Vote on it oh, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 All right. Um, Sandra was ready to cut the checks for the select board stipends, but I sent Sharon an email. I don't know if you wanted your stipend this year or not. You know, I don't think it's appropriate to do that at a meeting. I think if people want to respectfully decline rather than make a public display. Well, that's nice. Like that happened last year. I didn't like that. Okay. To have them defend. To have them defend or taking it makes them, puts them at. Right. Okay, what I'm getting at is I yeah. sent an email and I didn't get a response. Right, okay. I didn't see the email, so I okay. apologize. So, so, so if you could let Sandra know. Right. Yeah, normally well, everybody. If you want your stipend and where you don't want your if you don't want your stipend, let Sandra know. Right. 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 Yeah. Okay. So that was it on that. Um Okay, budget. Um let's see. Sandra's emailed it to us. Yeah. No. Is the I most saw the email and now I can't find it. Yep. Today. It was this afternoon. Today. That happens to me. Send it to you. Yes, send it to me. You know, we're hopefully not, hopefully we're not going to have internet issues because if everybody's on their computer and using their phones, takes up bandwidth. It's going great. Did we ever get through to? Yes, um, Justin. You want to update us on that? Yeah. So I came over here a couple times in support of IT to open up the computer, log in, allow them to get in. Um, the first time, uh, immediately, like opening up on the first day that I came over here, there was a whole bunch of updates that were sitting there. The possibility that um, typically the standard is to sign off and not turn off, and that allows updates to kind of happen over the evening and through the night or whenever they happen. Right. So I think when the, the computer gets closed and it's off and it doesn't get used for a week, there might be updates. Um, Lining up, so he was able to get in. He ran a bunch of updates. Right. There was a couple of things. Um, let's see. Let me find it. So, um, first of all, the updates at the town office. I have them check in on those. Those happen at 9:30. At night. Um, at night, they shouldn't affect the bandwidth because it's updating the server, which is on site. So it's not actually leaving okay. the building. Okay. Um, he did. So that led us to led him to looking at. So nothing goes to the cloud at 9.30? Um, according to Justin, no. Okay. Um, the computer was fully updated. He ran some speed tests and found speeds to be inconsistent and right on the edge of being too slow for applications like Zoom. Mm -hmm. 
Um, this was on a Saturday morning at 10 a.m. when traditionally should be very low usage. Right. So that's problematic and concerning, obviously. One possibility around 8 o'clock, because it's not an exact time, is that perhaps there are other people on Consolidated's network that are using high bandwidth applications like Netflix and other things, mm -hmm. and that's affecting and dragging down what's available on the line for the town hall, possibly. Right, and that's nothing we can do anything about. And we can't track it on our end. Um, Consolidated might be able to. Um, and we sort of left it at that, and he just said he asked me to please check back in with him on Wednesday to report how the meeting went, if we got Working picked great. off. If there but this is about the time now. Yeah. So <laughs> this is about don't say that, it's too early. Um, so we'll check in and see, but you know, one, one suggestion would be to leave the computer open and just sign off. Sign off and leave the computer and open. And allow it to run. And also that way, I, if there are IT things the computer is on, they can remote in and actually... That's true. So as opposed to someone having to come over, open up the laptop, yeah, yeah, you know, okay. get it going. Like right now, we get remote into my computer and see what's going on, and because I sign off and I leave that room. When you say leave the computer open, you mean Denise's computer? Yeah. But she can do that from home, right? The Isn't computer it? stays here. No, this is, oh, computer. Computer. This this is the town's computer. Yeah. Oh, it's or the, 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 yeah, select board, whatever you want to name it. <laughs> right. Oh, I didn't, what's yeah. And I'm not aware of other, are other committees using this computer? They, want, they, want, they want to, and Cliff said that Justin set up a guest account. Okay. So that you know, like historic preservation, conservation commission planning, can you could now use this with the owl and Zoom. So he's done that, right? Wow. So it might be a good practice to try to get into to leave it on and leave a little note because I did. I opened it up and then I came back here. He's like, I can't get in. I came over here and someone nicely enough saw that it was open, closed, turned it on, and closed it for us. Um, so we might want to leave a little note just to leave it alone and let. For, to let the updates run. Okay. But it's, it's locked, right? So people just can't go in and start sabotaging, right? Yeah, you right. Can't, right. No, you have to have a password. You have to pass it. Password yeah. 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 And you got to make sure it doesn't have an automatic shutdown after three hours of no use. Right? I've turned off any of the. Um, there was a setting where it goes to sleep after a certain amount of time. So right now, if it's plugged in, it's it's programmed to not go to sleep. Okay. So tonight. When we're done, I'm just going to close out of the programs and leave everything plugged in and turned on, correct? Yeah, you'll just, you'll go and just, um, you're going to just sign out and then you'll still see like a... Right, the screen. Yeah. Yeah. And the owl will be... The, the owl will be inactive. Um, or just turn it off perhaps. Or you can can probably leave it plugged in and just... Turn them off. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. my best guess. <laughs> Okay. Not Sounds good. <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah, awesome. Thank you. Yeah. And thank you for working with Justin to get this done. It's been, yeah, it's usually around this time. Well, hopefully at some point we'll have a cable that's lit. That well, I asked. Much better quality. Right. I asked Cliff if yeah. when we get that line ran, if. You know, this will be in pretty much a non-issue, or it should be a non-issue. Okay. Yeah. That's okay. Um, all right. Budget. Sandra, thank you for joining us. Uh oh. Oh. Oh, you're. Are you there? Yes, you're there. Look at you. I, I am here. So what I discovered is, after a few minutes, the Zoom box will go away, and I can't see anybody which is interesting new new wrinkle but the zoom is still there so that's good all right so let's get started Rick is going to make a concerted effort to get the highway budget um, you said you got it from Toby that, it's for, it's that, yeah I didn't realize I didn't come to you directly from the seven right I don't think it has some updated numbers it's seven does so, Sandra has Sandra seen the? I will this? send it to. I'll send it to her right now. So when I I send it to you just a while while. Okay. You and John. So. Okay. I don't. I don't have that budget. Okay, he's gonna send I'm it right now. It. Okay. But you haven't looked at it yet. Yeah. You have. Yeah. But it's. Yeah. I thought that she was copying on the whole. Okay. The so, 
Um, we reviewed this in our convoluted way last meeting when we had all kinds of issues with connectivity and stuff. Um, and I think there was nothing in this first block to change, if I remember right. Um, CLG grant. Um, we just approved tonight, Sandra, a CLG grant for the Historic Preservation Commission, $7,500 in-kind match um, for the this walking tour project that they're going to do. So I don't know if that has to go on here. For no match for us. No, but you still have to track. Was it? If, you still have to track the money. Is it in kind volunteer hours or? Yes, it's in, it's in kind volunteer hours. Um, so I don't know. How, I know you have to track that somehow. The grant. The the grant administrators have to track those hours and those people. That's yeah. What has been happening? Yeah, that usually Scott does that yes okay um we did town clerk um digitizing land records we talked about we want to digitize more land records but we're talking about using some arpa money for that um town listers i did talk to Jan and talked about the fact that they never <coughs> come close to the full 12,000. She said if we really wanted to, we could lower that to 8,000. Yeah, we should. You should, wow. Yep. So we would want to change that from 12 to 8, Sandra. All right. Oh, I hear a phone. That's probably in my house. Oh, okay, that's right. You have teenagers. My, my back, yeah. Okay. Wow. Well, yeah, and a husband was, I too. Was, uh, I thought it was a phone and hearing somewhere. <coughs> okay. Um, auditor, <coughs> and I reminded everybody that's Nemric that does our monthly audit, which is different than our professional audit up here. Yes. Um. We won't do tax collector right now. Um, elections, Jeremy. Yes. Um, we don't know still, and we won't probably until sometime in January, hopefully before we have to go to print. There's the possibility that when the legislature reconvenes in January, one of the first things they might do is look at whether or not towns will have the ability to have town meeting like we did last year with an informational meeting and everything voted on by Australian ballot. Would that affect, I'm, thinking, I'm looking at postage right now, would that affect anything? If, uh, yeah, I think so. Um, so, it sounds like there's a, actually a, a very good chance that that's gonna happen. Right now the Secretary of State is pushing a bill that's supported by the Vermont Municipal Clerks and Treasurers Association to allow, as they did last year, select boards to vote to put things on Australian ballot that are normally voted from the floor. Right. It's likely to happen in, in the first 10 or 12 days, hopefully. Um, they have a template. It'll yeah. be different than last year's. Um, Is VLTC behind this too? And they're behind it as well. Okay. Yeah, they're hearing from everybody that's... Okay. Um, so it's definitely an issue. Um, I don't know the status of who is going to be covering the cost because it's a local election. Right now, um, absent any legislation, we're covering it. Right. Um, and looking at, I didn't really know how much any of this costs. I'm very new to this, obviously, and I wasn't here last year for right. the process. Um, but looking, I was able to find a reimbursement form that uh, Judy sent to the state of Vermont reimbursing for Expenses. Various expenses. Yeah, yep, I remember um, that. that. The state had had raised money to pay. Yeah. Um, and the total reimbursement request was, you know, almost three thousand dollars. Yeah. Um, the ballot and printing instructions, according to this, were about sixteen hundred bucks. Mailing service was five hundred bucks. 
um, and tabulator programming was 600 bucks. So um, I did have, I was looking at that number today and feeling um, not super secure about that, feeling like we, it would be a good idea to probably add some money to that to be safe. And yeah. also just looking at the actual for 21, mm -hmm. obviously it's much higher than what was budgeted. Um, Right, I mean, the 21 was, that was a presidential, right? Yeah, and so there, <coughs> we might want to consider putting some more money into that just to be safe, especially if we vote to send ballots. Right, so the total reimbursement was 3000 that included postage? Uh, I believe so, yeah, that was the total what they asked. Uh, the, whole, the total was 2798 So if we put in 2500 change 1500 in election expenses to 2500 and leave the postage in at 500 Pretty dark. Yeah. that will give us 3000 Yeah, I think that would be safe. Does the board agree? Yep. Okay, you got that, Sandra? Election expenses goes up to 2000 yes. Okay, no, 2500 2500 for election expenses. 2500 sorry. Keeping the postage at five for a total of three. Thank you. Yep, thank yes. you. Yes. Um, okay, general office. Um, uh, Jeremy, you suggested that we remove the .gov email address ish request? Yes. Um, just getting a lot of feedback from the board, it seems like it may or may not happen this year. I was able to get some answers from Holland um, about some of the questions that were asked. Um, and I can provide those if you would like, um, but it's, you know, I just... Is the bottom line is your... your we got a lot of other things you're, to worry about. Yeah. I mean, in, in, the essence, Honestly, in the essence of time and keeping this moving, I think if you want to just take out the .gov expense, Sandra? Yes, that's $6,600. Okay. That brings that line back to 12.328, and it is reflected in that spreadsheet before you, the 12.13. That's line what? That's, I, I think it's line 62. Correct, Sandra, 62? Oh, I don't have the, I'm looking at um, a hard copy. I'm not looking oh, okay. at, okay. All right. at a spreadsheet on my computer. Okay, so we were good with the rest of this budget, this block, I'll just call it a block. Um, we agreed on the fireproof file cabinet. Does the maintenance and janitorial line cover what we just talked about? That, the town hall cleaning would come under the town hall budget. Okay. Um, anything else in that block, Jeremy? Oh, I just realized. Do does Andy Felice get a bonus? There you go. There you go. That's somebody. There's the missing person. That's the missing person. Missing person alert. Missing person right, alert. Make a motion Do we need that we to offer Andy that we give Andy the same uh, two hundred fifty dollars we talked about for everybody else? A second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 <laughs> okay. Oops. Is John McCullough, but he's prospective. Is that why we're not? John McCullough. Yeah, he's what? the zoning administrator. Zoning administrator? Oops. Let's leave it at that. I think we leave it where we're at. Okay. All right. Um, Pardon me. I, I believe you made a motion in favor of a bonus for Andy. Is that's your voice is cut out on yes, my end? Yes, we did. We, we passed a motion earlier, Sandra, to, to provide this town staff, all of them, a two hundred fifty dollar bonus. You know how I got that one. Right, we got that. We just, so made, just did you do the same for Andy? Yes. We're grouping Andy in with you guys. We just made an emotion. Okay. We just made a motion to add Andy. Thank you. That was an oops. Yeah, that, that was an oops. I'm glad we remembered. Okay, technology reserve, town office reserve. We did that last. I think we got through that last Did meeting. Did we those? up those? 
I don't think so. We got the town office reserve. We we agreed on a one. See in that line it says one percent of building know. value. Yeah. So it's the three thousand one percent of the building value. I can't remember. Well, are you? But yes, it's roughly. It's about two eighty five uh, two hundred eighty five thousand dollars. Okay, so one percent of two hundred eighty five thousand is roughly three thousand. Yeah. Okay. Denise, can you give me a line for that? Um, 83. 83. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm, looking there. There. I'm, look, I'm not looking at the list. All right. Got it. Do you want to sit over here? No, it's okay. Okay. Come on. Um, payroll taxes and benefits. Um, Sandra mentioned that Blue Cross Blue Shield, the premiums are going down, which still blows my mind, but we'll take it. Vemers is going up. Um, anything else in that block, Sandra, that you want to highlight or explain? No, that's, it's, uh, the numbers have settled yeah. on what they are. Okay, so they are what they are. Yes. Okay. Um, and that includes, well, no, because that would come under highway, never mind. Um, taxes, dues, assessments. Do we, are those um, numbers all in, except for county maybe? Um, county is not in. And the waste management district is in, sort of. We, we think uh, if, as long as their census is the same as last year, then the dues will be the same as well. Right, yeah, there was, but it's like the variation would be like a few dollars 10 bucks right. or something. Right. It's not much. Yeah. I think that's close enough. Yeah. Um, and county tax, were you going to just kind of put in a guesstimate increase or, or not? You can increase that by 2%. Okay. They'll, they usually come in. You you keep cutting out, Sandra. Oops. Sandra, turn your video off. And <coughs> you're gonna have to say, um, Sandra, you're gonna have to. Start. Is that better? Okay, start over with what you were saying, please. I'm getting off We could uh, increase that number. To, uh, by two percent, it's they're frequently within a two to three percent increase historically. Okay. If if you wanted to do that, or you could wait, they that number usually comes in uh, in very uh, very late in December, early January. Well, let's put in a let's put in a two percent placeholder, and then we can see if, what it actually comes in at. Just so. We start to get some bottom bottom line numbers. All right, that would be. Uh, let's see. I'll tell you in a moment. That would be sixteen nine thirty five. Yeah. So. Yeah. So. It's not huge. It's not huge. Okay, zoning administrator. We talked about that last. Last week, I guess it was last week, was it? Um, and I think everybody was good with that block, if I'm remembering correctly. Fire ambulance. All right. We now have the figures from East Montpelier and Woodbury for their budgets. And these amounts are correct, Sandra, that are in here? Are up I don't have Woodbury, Denise. Yeah, uh, Chance, Chance sent it out Sunday night, maybe? No, it's okay. So, um, 267. That's, okay. Um, I think I have it here. Did it come under his? I'll search my email. You wait. I can send it to you. I, I have, um, oh, wait. He's saying that, um, he said, uh, the last email from him I have is an apology for the delay in response. And he thought he'd have the 
numbers by the end of the weekend and I don't yeah that's the last email okay he did send from it. him to me okay he sent it and I think you were included but I'll double check <clears throat> but in the meantime they're looking for 17850 to be added to the truck replacement fund Seventeen eight fifty. Yeah. Is that the same? Oh, okay. I have that. And then the town appropriation for the operations. They're they they're asking for thirty five, three seventy and forty four cents. So is the seventeen eight fifty the same seventeen eight fifty that's already there? Okay, hold on. Yes. 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 Okay. But the the line above it should be thirty five what? Thirty five three seventy. And forty-four cents, but I think we just rounded to three seventy. And then the um, Woodbury Volunteer Fire Department Capital Replacement Fund—they're asking for thirty-one, which is what is there. It's called Equipment Reserve Fund on the sheet, line one sixteen. Yeah, and at the bottom of this, it says they're asking for a three point three percent increase in our operations budget for Callus, which is where you'll see the increase, um, 35,370. So that would be line number 113, I guess? Yes. So that would go to 35,370. Are you all set with that, Sandra? Yes. Oh, yeah. Katie just mentioned that this letter from Chance is also in the Google folder. All right. So that takes us up a bit. I don't know what the percent overall increase is for fire and ambulance. 5% is with the, the increase by my math. For the total, the bottom one is about 5%. Yeah, something slightly over. Okay. Police patrol, we went, we talked, we upped the constable from 1,000 to 2 and the health officer from most of the time nothing to 1,000. Yeah. <coughs> we don't have any constables at this point. As of well, as of the end of the month. month. Right. Barbara's going to repost. She posted it over, was it yesterday or today I saw it? I haven't seen it. might have been today. I haven't seen the front porch form today. Okay, animal control. Um, planning commission. Everybody good with I think everybody was okay with that. Conservation commission. Um, we agreed to add 5000 to the fund, or request 5000 and that goes on the warning. What decides what goes on the warning? Oh, wait a minute. What did you say goes on the warning? Did we put the, do we, we used to put the conservation fund request on the warning. Did we, have we done that recently? I can't remember. No. Okay, so we just. Not, not since I've been here. Okay, so we just incorporated into our budget. What, what, how do we decide just on what goes on the warning and separate? Usually big items. Like yeah, trucks. like trucks, fire department it's stuff. It's big. It's big. It's quite right. Okay. I mean, we could, we could put them all, all of these on the yeah, sure. warning, yeah. but we don't have to. Yeah, we're in a five day town meeting day. Well, and just because we're looking at it here, that's a different point than whether it goes. Right. That's a separate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And you know the voters always have the option to pull something. Out yeah, they do. And have it voted on separately. Okay, town hall. And this is where this maintenance the, and janitorial piece would come in. <coughs> janitorial, and she's going to send us an estimate. Okay. Um. Yeah, utilities. I think John made the point that. We're probably going to have a huge increase over this winter with um, 
right. heating and fuel oil and all that, gasoline. Right. We, fund, we up the funding of the reserve fund to, yeah. Well, the, the, the line item for utilities, right. yeah. Um, I mean, line 156, we up the. Right. We agreed to that. Right, and then, right, no, 150. That's a 40% increase. That's what we got there, right? Yeah. For which one? Well, line, line item 156. 156. Yeah. We agreed to, our goal is to have 1% of the building values putting into the reserve fund each year. So that's why it's a big jump from 5 to 12.5. Right. Um, insurance. Sandra's got a note here that all the in, all the invoices are in. This is where you see that line item 172 and 173 will be paid off. Right, so that's a... That's right. A, that's a. So Sandra, even with the increase <laughs> in the fire department, East Montpelier Fire Department, Woodbury, we are still going to come in at under budget from last year. Yeah, I mean the, the without the change, what you've made some changes this evening. I'm not on a live spreadsheet because okay. I can't okay. do a live spreadsheet and a Zoom. I'm sorry. Okay, but the spreadsheet that you that was uh, emailed to you today, you were still um, below last year by 2.69%. Right. You've added a few things. But nothing that I don't think will make much of a difference. Okay. The, the, the number difference that we're seeing here is about $60,000. Yeah. And what you well, added, Denise, from the, from the, East Montclair and Woodbury Fire Department is nowhere near sixty thousand. Yeah, yeah. We cut some. We cut six thousand bucks out of the clerk's budget for the. Do, do for, and and we also and four thousand from the. Do, do we not need to add the cost of a replacement truck under uh, vehicle equipment? Well, we're, that's on Rick and yeah. We still have yeah. oh, all right. So we're we're, 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 right, we're, we're going to come back and 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 make and and remember. That this budget we're looking at does not include that long list of all of these little appropriations 200 600 a thousand that is not incorporated into that that's a separate item warned um, separate separately presented here and se and different and separately warned it's separately warned correct and when when all is said and done if the budget passes then we add all of that stuff in and that will, that's usually roughly about 30 or... We're going to want to bump our trash up like a little bit because I know the, the rates trash? have gone up. Where do you see trash? Oh my God, town garage trash removal. It's 500 forever, but, but it's... Right, but we're not, we're not doing that now. No, I know, that's just saying, putting that out generally, if that's, that's an expense that's listed in the well, clerk's who does, office. Who um, does our trash? For the office and I think we dump it in the school. Take it down the school. That that's part of that's the quid pro quo for the generator. We support the generator. Or oh, we plow the driveway. No, we plow the driveway. Yeah. Not the generator. Oh, we yeah. used to. So, so, so the point though is that this isn't the entire budget. We haven't even looked at highway. Right. But for what we're looking at, we're something between two and three percent reduced over last year. Right. Right, depending on what happens with highway. Well, but no, the number we're looking at is just general. Yeah, right, right now. Right, right now. Right. And that's, and highway's not going to affect that line. Right, and last... Well, it might, because we're buying another truck for 220000 Isn't that going to be a general highway? I mean, we're showing that... I mean, yeah, yeah. She's this, just saying the, the non Right, it doesn't affect us yet. Yes, right. but it may. Right. It's and never going to affect this line. Here. No, that's right. In there. It's not going to affect line 182. No, but it will okay. affect the bottom line. It'll affect the bottom line. Okay. Right. Yeah, that's yeah. what you're saying. Right. I think yeah. in the truck, in the capital expenses. Well, I was saying that that line is, which is going to lead, which is going to lead me to ask, is there something else we're missing that belongs up there? No, but that's a different question. And to go back to the social, and then I'll let Rick talk before 
We were talking about the amount of money for social services. Um, Kellogg Hubbard Library is not on there. They're asking for a, I don't know if it's like $1,200 increase over last year. But the total service. If you say what, Sandra? If you scroll down, scroll down to the bottom, very bottom of that spreadsheet, you're going to see your social services, your cemetery appropriation, and um, Denise and I agreed to put in a value for a five year truck loan for the East Montpelier Fire Department. I guesstimated interest at 2.5%. So right. if you scroll well, all the way down, the board, you're, you'll see that. Right, the board hasn't talked about whether or not it supports putting money in yet for the truck, but that was what they asked us at the meeting that Rick and I went to. Mm -hmm. So we just put that in as a placeholder, but the bottom line for social services is 60,000. And that includes, oh, the, the increase for Kellogg Hubbard. Right, and all the numbers are not in yet for social services. So that line is still to be determined other than Kellogg Hubbard Library. Right. Well, unless somebody really goes crazy, that's not likely to change a lot. And what's the deadline for the no. 15th of December? What is the, what's our process going forward? And, and are the deadlines still the same or for the budget? Well, I don't know what you mean. Well, remember the, the last Oh, time. yeah, January 4th is when we're supposed and to have this all But done. you were going to talk to Jeremy. I it? did, and briefly. And still January 4th. Well, we looked Why at. so early? No, it's not really. If you go back and look at all the other years, we've just been late. Oh. Okay, so I remember January fifteenth being the right. 18th. Right. I think we got I think we got our hands slapped because we were late and we might be late again. But let's see what we can do to try to meet the deadline. Okay. Well so so what so on that point, if the deadline for the for the social services groups is the fifteenth, that is two days from now, Wednesday. Yep. Um then I would suggest, last year my recollection is that they came in, you know, well after our deadline. There was, there was, there was a lot, it's only two days out, and if, if we haven't heard from most of these people. I don't know, how, I don't know that we haven't heard from most. I don't know, I think we have to wait till the 15th and see, I don't know what's come in the mail. So, so my point is only this. I was just going to say, my, I don't have recollections I wasn't here, but Judy definitely told me there were, given the nature of COVID and everything that was going on, things were right. slow. It's not a good year to judge, um, <laughs> right. to base your memory on because everything was a little crazy. Yeah. Well, and so, so, so my suggestion is, so the 15th is a Wednesday, I would say, sure, you know, push it out to the 17th. But by the 17th or the close of business on Monday, we're done. And, and everybody that we get after that is just locked into what we gave them last year. Yeah, that's fine. And I, I think that's sort of how the process works, even with the, January, the December 15th deadline. Yep. Get it in by that date or, or forget it. Right. Well, and I just want to say that out loud so that we're not constantly chasing those numbers and we've been clear. Mm -hmm. and. And I, I, you know, I do think we should, we should put a contribution in, even if we haven't heard from them. But do we want to email those folks and let them know that? Well, I think that's a lot of emails for somebody to do. Yeah. Um, usually, most groups are pretty good about they want their money, so they're pretty good about making sure they get their request in. Yeah, sure. And Callis, Callis's request, I have to say, is the easiest by far of any of the six towns around here. All you gotta do is print off a form, sign it saying you want the same as last year, scan it and email it to Barbara and you're done. You know, they could send us an email and we can take it, you know, it's, it's Yeah, so yeah. Cool. I just wanna know that the next time, next time we look at this, all of the numbers are in. Well, and that bring, that'll bring us to a point of 
when we're meeting again. But let's get through here. Cemetery. I have a question. Though. Yes, if, sir. This is kind of just my little weird picky thing. So let's say uh, someone gets it in past our deadline. We're not interested in making changes, but we've been given a heads up. Somebody needs another hundred bucks. Do we then put it somewhere so we know next year they get that hundred bucks? We might just be a. There might be a year lag. No. We, no, I don't have to request a new. No, I don't. <laughs> that's, not, that's not what I know. They have to request And if they new. if they want okay. and if they want it in simple for for Jerry. Yeah. I'm with you. If they want it, if they want it in, if they want, an in if they want an increase or they want or they're a brand new group, there's a whole other paperwork you have to fill out. There's a budget form, all this stuff. But having just done this for Twin Valley Senior Center, Callis's was the easiest. Everybody else wants all of these same documents every single year, mm -hmm. even if the request is the same. Okay. And we decided several years ago not to put people through that. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Once they were approved. Yeah, once they were approved for that amount. Yep. Cemetery, as you can see, is going down because mm -hmm. they have some money um, from their investment fund, their endowment fund. So it reduces their normal 49.4 to 42.5. Wow. Um, thanks to the trustees right. for That's getting awesome. them. Yeah. They did. I think they're regularizing their transfers. Right, right. Um, okay, and then this brings us to the fire truck. I, I asked Sandra to put that in here so that we could all see what that would look like. What line? It is 344. If you're looking at an old one, it won't be there. Yeah. Um, and Rick and I were at the fire department meeting the other night. They want the fire truck is from this Tenyon, Tendow, ten, whatever. Tenco. Not ten, Tenco. Not Tenco. Not ten, oh, wait, was it Tenco? Or it was yeah, I think so. Um, anyways, what the fire the truck is 425. They have. Um, 425,000. They want to buy another one? They're, what they're doing is they're asking for the towns, the two towns, Callis East Montpelier, two thirds East Montpelier, one third Callis, to fund. The two hundred thousand, which in Callis's case, the the whole amount was for like six sixty six 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 seven. They were funding half of it out of their equipment. More than half. And what are they replacing? Two fifty. Is this a replacement or an addition? Replacement. Replacement. And what truck are they replacing? Engine. Is that? Engine for twenty five years old. Yeah. Twenty five. Okay. Yep. Um. So anyways, um, the question is, we would put this, well, there's two questions. We would put this on the warning to get voter approval. Are we look, do we want to look at five years? I don't know if we can do seven year. What do folks think? What, to finance it? Mm -hmm. I think East, the impression I got from East Montpelier, and I could have heard them wrong, East Montpelier has been saving up money in a capital fund oh, for these kind of expenses with the fire department. I thought I heard them say they would have enough money in their fund to fork over the 200000 mm -hmm. and maybe somehow Callis could reimburse East Montpelier. Did you hear that? I didn't get that piece. Over five or over seven? I don't know. I didn't get into a discussion oh, with them. Oh, we front it and then we just reimburse myself. Right. And I don't know if they would charge us interest. Bruce Johnson is gone until the beginning of the of January. So anyways, that's that's what I heard and I could have, like I said, I could have heard incorrectly. But that's an option that we might explore. But then... If we're going to do that, this is an aside, we should have, an, if, if it's direct to East Montpelier, we should have an agreement. Yeah, no, right. absolutely. Absolutely. Be, and I don't know if they would charge us interest. Um, and if they are, maybe it's just as easy to take out our own loan and be done. Right. So those are some things we have to figure out. I think... Um, and they would probably have to. I think Bruce Johnson might be checking email occasionally. I can email him and ask him. Okay. But I mean, is it up to us? It's up to us whether we, we put it on. We put in the warning, the amount, and we'd have to put in the finance. Right. We would put on the warning, um, the purchase of a fire truck for East Montpelier Fire Department with our cost, which would be the 66667. And 
to be financed over X years? Do we have to say that in the warning? I believe so. Okay. Yeah. So we have to decide that as part of our process. Our budget. Right. Okay. It's, yeah, that seems like a question. <coughs> you know, if and I guess we should ask ourselves, what's our preference? Is it do we prefer five, six, seven years? And let's find out what East Montpelier, if they really said that, or did I just hear things? But it sort of doesn't matter, right? That's a different question. Well, when we okay. borrow, what do we get bank loans? Sandra, what's the name of that place where we can get loans? At like 2.5 percent, what's the name of that place? There is a Vermont Capital Equipment Replacement Fund run by the state of Vermont, which provides very low interest um, loans for the replacement of capital equipment. We, uh, our excavator, the um, was purchased from that with loan, a loan from that fund and let me see I just want to look at that so we're we have made our last payment and we're eligible to go back into that fund and uh, get a loan at one point that fund also encouraged towns to go together and apply for a loan for a large piece of equipment and that's a possibility as well. But if the other towns involved are still in that fund, that may make them ineligible. The rules, uh, at least the last time I worked with that fund, were that you could not have two loans East at the Mont same East time. Montpelier doesn't, East Montpelier doesn't need to take out a loan. They have the cash. We probably mm -hmm. think about that. So we could probably use that loan for that purpose or... For the purchase of a new truck. I think, you know what, Sandra, you know, we, we're going to be on the pretty near horizon of replacing a grader, which is more like 300000 If we're going to get a loan, a low interest loan, that's where we should, we should be, we should try to keep that. I was thinking was open. if in fact that, that yeah. their rates are cheaper than the deal. That makes, that makes good sense. Yeah. I do not know if they cap that loan. Is that loan capped at two hundred thousand dollars? What loan are you talking about? <laughs> I don't know. You'd ha we'd have to investigate that. I don't. What two hundred dollar, two hundred thousand dollar loan the are you talking capital about? capital investment loan. The Vermont Capital Equipment Loan Fund know, but you're may cap the. You're talking about two hundred thousand dollars for what? For a maximum loan. I, I, is that the maximum? She's questioning. That may be the maximum. Okay. I don't know. We'd have to research that at the time. Okay. Well, we have to make up our mind. Right. The time we meet. Well, we have one more meeting. Well, that's we're going to talk about that. Well, we, we better talk about it because well, we've Mark, got a lot of stuff okay. that we have to decide. Right. right. So, Monday. my I, question, I, I will check in. I didn't want to... Yeah. Check in with Bruce and all that stuff without letting you guys all know. And Rick was at the meeting. Um, so I will check in again. So here's the deal. Next Monday night is not a normal meeting night. Um, I think we need to meet and only focus on budget. And we've done this before. We still haven't. And we could... we. It's almost nine o'clock now, so we could defer talking about salary increases and all that until we have the full budget. So Rick, we got to have that budget to Sandra so she can upgrade these spreadsheets for us to review on Monday. I just sent that to you, and I sent to everybody. Okay. What he had, I didn't realize he hadn't sent it out to you guys. I thought he copied all of us. Okay. Did you, or did we you don't have. have. I've looked through it. What aren't on there? I think are the updated you know, salary numbers and things. So mm -hmm. okay. we've got, he did build in, just for your information, the two, the 2023 dump truck we were talking about tonight, put 40 some thousand in for that payment on in this, in the budget amount. At this point, that budget was looking like about a 2.9% increase, I think. In the highway? Um, not I, counting in, salary. Not counting the salary, that's without the, yeah, right. at this point, mm -hmm. so. Okay. It's, um, that's, Sandra, yeah. can you incorporate that highway into 
the, a master and can is it if we're going to meet next week is it possible for us to get it within the next couple of days i i think rick just emailed that highway I budget to me did should I check my email for that? I think I could do that and stay on this Zoom. I do not have that. If you sent it, Rick, it's not here. It's not there. I forwarded he, it. He did. You forwarded it. Okay. Elf and who is on? Yeah, Sandra, you're on an email that Rick forwarded. Should be there, right from Matobi. A little while ago. And he forwarded you. An did you? Is it my correct email, Treasurer Callis? Because it's not here. I well, maybe. I. I it, well, I have Sharon's email, by the way. I do not have yours, Rick. No, Rick, you sent it. You did not send it to Callis Treasurer. Oh, I might be that sent might be No, no, no. Treasurer Callis. No, he didn't send it there. At gmail.com. No, that's not what he sent. Okay, it. so oh, forward forward it. John's going to forward it to you, Sandra. Sorry, Sandra. <laughs> you got to, you just, that's just plain old line. Mine comes up, treasurercallis at gmail.com, and the, the name on it is. That's Don, correct. That's Donna Fitch. But it, it's Sandra. Nice to But nice that's to my you, that's mine. Yeah. Okay. okay so. Sandra, Donna. It's all right. Donna. So next Monday night, when do you want to meet? You want to meet at seven? Do you want to meet at six? Hang on. I so my I want to go back to my question, Sandra. Can we get this an, this incorporated into the spreadsheet so that we're looking at highway as part of everything else in an Excel sheet? Yes. It would be this sheet with those changes. No, I get it, but but you know you can't do math when the numbers are wrong in an Excel spreadsheet. So say, I guess Sharon's wanting to know when we might get an updated spreadsheet with what you just got sent tonight. Correct. I can do that probably tomorrow or Wednesday. That's fine. Perfect. That's perfect. perfect. Thank you. So, so you, you'll put in you'll she put in the correct. Uh, Staff salary information at the roadway. Is that right? <coughs> they they don't. It is background for you, Rick. It is absolutely appropriate and hard one that they did not put in salary. No, it didn't want them. No, no, no. I, mean, I know that. She okay. would, but I Sandra, Sandra, she Sandra, that. Sandra could put that in. Yes. Yes. Okay. yes and we would. Yeah. yeah so that's. And prepared, that's going to so be a part, a big part of our discussion right. Monday night. Will right. be the salary increases. Looking at the highway budget, I think the rest of it is pretty, pretty set. Um, so my question, six o'clock or seven o'clock? What Hang do you on, before we go six there, five, you six, also six, have, six, Denise, eight. you also have noted a treasurer delinquent tax collector report for 1227. And a few weeks ago, we said we weren't gonna meet on 1227. I, never, I didn't ever say that. We, we did say that. We said we didn't want to meet on 1227. I don't remember us voting on it. Well, I'm not saying we voted on it. I'm saying. I, I think that issue came up. I don't think the board has. So voted I, don't, or I do not to want that. to meet both next week and the 27th. Well, let's get our work done next week. Well, we can do the delinquent tax collector report the beginning of January. We don't have to do it. I was not sure if the board was going to want to meet on the 27th. That's the on there. Because that's when we normally said we would have the delinquent tax collector. Treasurer okay. report is the last meeting of the month. That's why that's on there. That's fine. I but it but it that's fine. I appreciate that. But I don't want to approve a meeting next week without getting clear on what's happening the week after. I think that clarity is important. So what happens if next Monday night we still haven't got this ready? We'll have a conversation. Then. That's a different discussion, but I don't I don't want to have a meeting on the 27th. I would rather not meet on the 20th and meet on the 27th. I would rather have the week of Christmas I'm without fine. any meetings. I, 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 I agree with you. I just don't want to meet both. I agree. I would rather meet on the 27th. I don't want to meet both. Well, then maybe we can agree to meet on the 27th and some of these other numbers will be... I'm agnostic, so would, uh, whatever anybody... I'm with you, Mark. I'm good at you. <laughs> so we we got cooking to do, don't we? We got cooking to do. i on Christmas. <laughs> so let's... You, all right, so then let's meet on the 27th and not on the 20th. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, Great. Can you, can you make sure that's reflected in the minutes, Katie, please? Thank you. And the 27th. Oh, you're meeting on the 27th. Is that what I'm, is that what's happening? Yeah. Right, but I want to make sure that we keep the agenda, just letting everybody know up front, 
keep the agenda really loose except for what absolutely has to be done because we got to do the budget. Yeah. Does everybody agree? And the warning. Okay. Yes. The budget. So do you need anything more from us, Jeremy, to update the warning? Uh, at this very moment, no. Okay. I think that we're going to have, we'll know more when the, um, the de Wednesday deadline comes. Okay. Um, and as far as other warning items. Like the fire, oh, the fire department budget. Are we, we had a long process to change how we're doing it. So the fire department budget to me is what we agreed to in this revised MOU that we would put the budget items it's from East Mount Pillar Fire Department on the warning along with Woodbury's. Right. Correct? Yes. Right. Right. Separately right. warned. Separately warned. Yes. yes. Um, I have a question. Well, wait, can I, can I ha ask you to go back for a moment? Are, are you asking me to take those items out of this budget for the 27th? Well, that's how it should work because if they're on the warning, you don't usually incorporate them, but I think for our budgeting purposes, they should be in there. Yeah, it's, it's really a question. The biggest issue, Sandra, is voting on them separately. Right. Well, then I'll leave. Do you want me to? Well, you have a choice. We can leave them in the budget where they are as a line item, or they could be moved under the budget and placed in the other warned article section. What do you want to see for the 27th? Hang on. I, when we do the pie chart, we've done the pie chart as safety being its own sliver. So it so in in that way the answer to Sandra's question is none of the above. We've done highway as a sliver, we've done general government, which by default unfortunately has included the fire stuff, but 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 we've been trying to break <coughs> that out and think about it as something separate, Sandra, from either highway or um, general government as like its own thing but don't forget that we're putting all of the if i can find it we're putting all of the items listed under fire and ambulance are on the warning right but, that, but it shouldn't be in our select board budget it should be separate it, should be right. separate. it shouldn't be in the select board right. budget if so it's in your special articles budget number one right. because it can be moved up or down right and two, that's going to really affect your, um, you, you just need to decide where you want it. Right. It I mean, not be in a select board budget. So I, I, I think that's what you're suggesting, Sandra. Right. And I, I'm agreeing with that. No. Yeah. I mean, all we have to do is move that whole block yeah. to out, out, out un, like under, this, under the warned so items. We'll, we'll know what the sum total cost to the town right. in the end, but this won't be in our, so that, that's what we are, we were seeking. Right. Right. And, and the way, Sandra, for our purposes now, the way that we can visualize what the fire and ambulance chunk is, both as, you know, discrete items and then as the, the gross in line 117 that we're looking at, for our purposes in discussion, that's fine. In terms, I think your question then is about how we present it right. to town, right? Right, we have we present it as a separate yeah, so I think, item. Yeah, presenting it as a separate yep. shop like highway is good. Yep, yep. And except for the rural fire protection $100. Which we don't, is we don't, we don't want to have to put that as a warned item. That's, that's, a, just, town, that's that, a town thing. That's just a town, it's a donation. And the Small other, item. Right. Yeah, and the others, I guess this is a good discussion we'll have, but it leads my mind to are we East Montpelier and Woodbury separate questions on our warning? Yeah. Or, yeah, yeah. 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 That's what I think too. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they would each be warned separately, yep. Woodbury from East Montpelier. I think so. Yeah. Good. good. Okay. Um, um, your, your, can I just hop in? The Sharon's voice or your video cut out right as she was discussing what you want to see happen with that fire. Okay, Sandra. Um, <laughs> Sandra, turn off your video. Ambulance. You gotta, you gotta Trump your video in off. your. Does it stay? Okay, Sandra. I can't. 
Sam, you got to turn your video off. You've got the worst internet in central Vermont. Okay. So no. It continues to be the worst in central Vermont. Okay, Sandra, so what we said is we're going to move the whole fire ambulance piece to the warned item section. Okay. Okay? All right. Yes. Okay. So um, I think we're done with this. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. First of all, do I understand that however it's presented, a, a member of the public will have an answer to the question of what is the total budget compared to last year? Right, and they can look in their town report. Yep. They okay. can look in their town report and it'll show the bottom line. Yep. Right. And, and, of all, and if we were to scroll down, you could see that now. Right. Okay. Second of all, sort of to help us with our meeting at the year end. You want to bring alcohol? <laughs> <laughs> Pot's legal. Yeah. Um, do I understand that? Without the warned items, the select board budget that we've considered so far, that is not the roads, Wait. is less than last year, marginally. It's 1.36% yeah. okay. bottom line. Now, but that's I understand important. that the road budget is going to be more than it was last year and will probably wipe out the, the we're savings. probably not going to come in total less than last year. Right? Uh, it's no, probably not. No, the road budget's the majority of the budget, right? It's right. like 70. Right. Yeah. So, but I understand we don't pay for two hundred twenty thousand dollar truck all at once. It's yeah, no, budget I is like I'm not, grand and, and and people I just want to know that's okay. Does we what? What, what, if, what what's okay? It's okay if that's not flat. The, that it's not flat. We well, have, in recent years... The voters will tell us. Yeah, the voters will tell us. Well, and in, in recent years, we have worked really hard here to stay under 3%, and I think... We will stay under 3%. We have, we have done that for at least the past, I would say, three, three years. Three years. Yeah. We're very conscious about wanting to try to not have the town budget go up a lot. Yeah, I know. I just, just wanted to get a sense from people who've been through it the yeah. past. Well, it's okay if we're like two percent or whatever well, comes up. I mean, hopefully we won't be two percent. Hopefully it'll maybe it'll be one yeah. percent, but we won't know. And then and then we get this. And then when we get the highway, that's why this is so important. Yeah, we have to have this. Yeah. We can then go back if it okay. seems like it's too high. Yeah, we can. We go can back. go back and and cut. Okay. Well, and that's actually so. To turning back to Rick, that's kind of what I'm assuming you'll have answers for, like because what we've done, literally, well, almost literally, Mark, is sharpen our pencil line by line right. over the past. If we don't right. If we don't like what we see. If, well, if we've done an exercise, a percentage we, exercise, just to see. What well, we the percentage about. exercise and and historic spending and year-to-date spending, like all of those data points. And, and we have used that over the past two to three years to, <coughs> to make line by line <coughs> changes, where historically we might have accepted right. the status quo without questioning it. Now we're like, yeah, no, you never spend that much. We right. have no idea why we keep budgeting that much. Right, like the... Um, Mr. Pay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so, so we locked, we, we well, Maybe not you and I should, as the committee, meet once before that meeting. Yes, yeah, we can do that. So that, and talk to Sandra if we need to, so that, I just want to make sure that that last meeting really is the last meeting. Right, me too. Well, and that actually leads me to ask the question, I didn't have, bring my printed out versions. Uh, I don't remember whether the top from the top column, do we have year-to-date spending? Do we even have that? Um, well, it would be in the treasurer's report that we just got for okay. in the November. All right, but it's not um, necessarily even what we're looking at now, here. Sandra, <laughs> well, we can. No, no. Can we add a year-to-date column? Uh, no, if you only if you want it on the twenty-seventh, I could. If you as long, if you're meeting that, it will take. 
No, don't. That will take a lot of time. No, we'll, okay. do, it. we'll do it from... To go line by line no. to add that. We'll okay. do it from the treasurer's report. Because uh, if you want it, I can take out the percentage change column and put in a year-to-date no, column. No, the percentage change column that's is a key. Um, yeah, that's important. Um, and I can always make, as long as we get it in Excel, I can add numbers myself. How do people other feel report. about a 7 o'clock meeting? I kind of prefer a 7 to 6. It's a little easier for me to get dinner done. You mean on the 27? On the 27. Yeah, I would, yeah, say, no, I would, say, I would say 7 on the 27. 6 is really hard. Okay. Okay. When, whenever you want to do it. Yeah, 7. Might be running late. 7 on the 27th. Okay. I would suggest if we're going to be cutting out, if we're going to be, cut, you know, if we're going to, if we're, the projections in these budgets, like the, the runway budgets, are kind of, you know, they float because it depends on our winners, a lot yeah, of these right. numbers, right? Mm -hmm. and we don't know. So there are averages. All right, and you certain were things, I mean, would it be worth having Alfred here to say, look, this is a spot that we can... No, I think we've got enough time under our belts doing this that, yeah, and enough knowledge here at the table that we can it, would, it works better if it's just us. Right. Okay. If, if you just, if just, you see that's if you see things that you can't explain, right? Then you should have a conversation with Alfred. Absolutely. Right. Have so a conversation what, before the meeting, not as after. As we go, we're gonna. I mean, it's part of our job as a subcommittee. If we go through it, which we will, and you know, you've got a lot of experience. If you see an anomaly, yeah, we'll call you up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, 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 the point is, we'll do this before the meeting. We'll work it through. All right. So the hopefully meeting. the meeting goes. Okay. Right. Okay. Um, Maybe John, you and I can walk through this a little bit. It's too. something. Is that, I mean, basically, it's, it's what we did last it. year. If you think we need more gravel and sand, throw some more gravel and sand dollars in. That's all. Right. Well, we. Yeah, he's got not it. rocket science. And you My know what? Already... It's, it's this, dude. Yeah. Well, we've it's budgeted. Fun. We've actually budgeted for sand, anticipating the worst since I've been on, uh, and we've had huge amounts left. And, and it, what it, Alfred then said, so I'm not asking for as much in the sand budget next year. Right. Like, well, why is that? We had all this inventory that remaining from last year. We had that easy winter and mud season like didn't happen. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh, well, right. that's one of the best. Okay, so, so to keep things so, moving, it's quarter after nine. We want to go into executive uh, session. I have no. Session. Hang on. No, I, I have. I have two questions. Uh, one is, did we actually approve the select board stipend? Yes, we did. Was that part? Because we only took one vote. Was yeah. the select board stipend part of that vote? Yes, we did. We did. That was a separate vote. I don't remember that. I think. But for I think. The upcoming I th budget. Right. No. 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 For t for this week. If no. We the, did no it, the budget. The budget. We budget a stipend every year. Right. But and what happens no, is then yeah. select board members. And I'm going to say I I don't I'm not into the whole hero thing. No. 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 And there's this select is, board is, members no. that don't want it. She's not asking that. That's, oh. That's okay. Entirely. She wanted to know if we took a vote at a select board meeting to pay out the select board stipends. Yes, we did. I think you were not at that meeting. Okay. That's my only question. Okay. We didn't do it tonight. Okay. Okay. I'm really sensitive about that because I didn't like. It. I thought it was very. Yeah, okay. Was it wasn't, but it wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't any of us that made it happen that way last year. We we all had to. There was a. To this. It, it wasn't us. It. And I agree with you. Yeah. But it wasn't us, so we can okay. we can take right. take the point right. and just move on. Okay. Um. I want to note my request that just we, so we're thinking about this early that we think about appraisals. Uh, we're talking about budgeting, but that we remember that point in between where we do appraisals before we actually award increases. That is definitely not an item for tonight or even for the next two meetings, but just note that. Mm -hmm. And then the other thing is, are we are we going to talk about mass mandates in Calus? I don't know. Probably we, we should, should. We should have the conversation. Right. We just haven't yeah. had time on the agenda yet, and it just right. barely came out. There's a whole piece from BLCT, BLCT about the mass mandate, but I don't want to get into that tonight. I'm not saying we get into it tonight. I want it flagged as something that we it's do. It's on my radar. That we no, but that we do actually do. I want it on the agenda. Whether or not we have Okay, Sharon. Sharon, I just said it's on my radar. It will be on a future agenda. 
Okay, Denise, thank you. On your radar to me doesn't necessarily translate to you. Have you planned to put it on an agenda? Then so I, what I would you like me to say? I would like to say yes. I'm going to put that on a, okay, a, and I just, a, okay, a near I, term agenda. And I just said that. No, so you said you, it's on your radar. It's and I just confirmed radar. that it's going to be on an agenda. Excellent. I just said that. Perfect. Thank All right, you. you're welcome. Is there a motion to go into executive session? I will make that motion. Sandra, first, before let me know if you need anything on that on that budget document, too. So. Second. Second. Uh, John forwarded it to me. I haven't looked at it yet, and I will let you know. Thank you.